Okay, this is one of the reasons that I came up this mountain. Now this is not a wild edible plant. As a matter of fact, this plant is toxic. This is pakun or uh, bloodroot. And I wanted to show you something. Now there are more of it on this on this mountain than just this one plant. And if I can gently, this is my old beater knife, guys. You guys that do bushcraft, you know what a beater knife is. Every bushcraft, and it's been really dry this year, and that may be why I had trouble finding it. But uh, a beater knife is one that you carry with you that you don't worry about messing up the edge on. Good for things like taking resin out of trees or digging up blood root. But I wanted to show you why they call it blood root. There it's already broke off. And if you see, this one just turned red really fast. Here it's been broken before. I'm going to try to gently cut it. Well, maybe not so gently. There we go. And that is an insecticide. That'll keep the bugs off of you. And some of you guys that... Uh, so it turns red there. And it'll all let it stain my finger. Now, there are some medicinal uses for this plant. Uh, it's kind of dangerous. It has to be specially prepared. It has to be prepared right. Now, cutting it like this, that's not going to hurt it. I can actually bury these root again. And the next time I come back, I'll have two of them. I've done that before, and I know it works. Don't want to bury them too deep. Just want to cover up those long feeder roots. And it may have a rough season this season, but next year there'll be two of them. Uh, but anyway, uh, about the blood root, you guys, uh, if somebody knows a safe way of doing it, that's up to you. I don't advocate it. Let me try and turn my camera around here so that I can see you again. There you are. Uh, I don't advocate the medical use of, of dangerous plants. There's a time to use home remedies and there's a time... Uh, there's a time to trust your doctor, and that can only be your decision. That's why this is just a list uh, of things that I survey of plants found in my area. Uh, if you want, guys want to learn how to use them, there's plenty of videos, plenty of websites out there that can teach you to do that. Uh, again, there's too many dangerous things in there for me to, to be advising people, because if I advise you wrong, you might get hurt, and I don't want you to get hurt. But uh, if you want to look up bloodroot, that's what it looks like.